Nav and sitting off to me, I'm very happy to say. Elsa Jones has uh, joined us. Elsa, good morning. How are you today? I'm good. Good morning. Our, our nutritional therapist. Yes. Um, this is, for those of you who aren't familiar, this is week three of the All New Tom uh, campaign, where I'm blogging every day. Uh, I've had huge advice from Elsa about what to eat, and I've definitely changed the nature of my my uh, my diet. There's no question about that. You've lost a half a stone. I've lost more than half a stone. Is it? In fact, yeah, I have, yeah. Uh, I think I started this at 12.3. Okay. And I'll give you the, the rundown now. I started weighed 12 stone, 3 pounds, and then pretty much immediately I was down to 11, 12. That's the mm -hmm. soft Christmas weight. Mm -hmm. I think that, that weight's the easiest stuff to get rid of. Then, after starving myself half to death, I dropped to 11, 9. <laughs> and then this week, I reckon I was doing absolutely brilliantly up to Friday night when I went home and I was never going to stay in the house. The moment I walked in the door, I knew I was making them get in the car and go with me to an Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. And when I arrived there, the first word I said to your man was Peroni. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend, Peroni. Peroni, now, at the table, please. And it was chilled and it was absolutely stunning. And um, mm. and then I woke up on, on Saturday with a sore throat cold. I don't know which came first. I don't know whether my body knew it was on the way down. Mm. It was like, get yourself a beer, you're in bits. <laughs> or I got a beer and then I was in bits. I don't know. Which well, came the first. old man flu can be very debilitating. We all know that. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's good news, but I am down a little bit more. I'm down to 11 stone, 8 pounds this morning. And I can safely say I haven't been 11 stone, 8 pounds in four years. So. Which is amazing. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So all in all, you're, it, it's over. It's like 8 pounds that you've lost. Mm -hmm. This you, You've hit your first roadblock. And yeah. it's interesting that you've hit your first roadblock so close to the finishing line because that's a really, really common Is pitfall. it really? Yeah. Oh, it's so common because people think, they're so, they, they almost think they're there mm. and it's almost on some subconscious level we're almost rewarding ourselves in advance before we've actually reached the finishing line. Okay. So it's really, really common. What I would say to you is, the thing is, not to beat yourself up about it. Because if you beat yourself up about it and you kind of go, oh, I've blown it. You kind of get into a really negative kind of pattern of thinking and then you start to feel really bad about yourself mm. and you start to think, oh, I'm weak, I'll never be able to do this, what's the point? But what was interesting, because I did have a little look at your food blog, things started to go hairy for you on Friday. And you went to the Italian restaurant and you had some beer and you had some yeah. wine and cheese and whatnot. And that was fine. But the mistake that you made, which was a really classic mistake, was I think you went into the in for a penny, in for a pound mentality. In other words, you kind of went, ah, I kind of balls to up last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's a technical French uh, phrase. Sorry, don't know where that one came from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I messed that one up last <laughs> night. But then you kind of took the same style then for Saturday and Sunday. Because yeah. I could see the wine was there, the cheese and crackers. Yeah. I kind of went, ah, oh, sure, listen, at this stage, you know, I may as well continue the way I started. Yeah. And that's where you need to catch yourself and mm. say, do you know what? I had a treat. I'm human. That's okay. Yeah. But what's not okay is if I continue to eat this way because then I'm actually going to sabotage yeah. all the effort I've put in. So I'm going to get back on track right now. Right. Didn't manage to do that, I'm afraid. There, yeah. I'll tell you what the issues I'm, I'm having, right, with this. Um, being married to a chef. <laughs> That would be a little bit of an issue. It's a lucky issue what now. What do that's you do? A, that's a cute problem. Saturday night, roast pheasant, mm. roast potatoes, purple cabbage, beautiful <laughs> Bre uh, bread sauce. Mm -hmm. Who isn't going to have a glass of wine with that? Yeah. I tell you, if you it's, can walk away from that, you're a stronger man. Listen, it's difficult, and I won't deny it is difficult. But I think that you have to, in a situation like that, yeah. you've got to get the person, you've got to get your partner on board with you. You've got to actually ask and request that support for An the period of time that you know you're. Roast beef last night. Roast See, the I nicest don't... roast potato I think I've ever tasted. I don't well. think there's a problem with you having roast beef and roast potatoes. That's not. It's not an issue. Yeah. It's the extras. It's the extra treats on top of that right. that are the problem. The cheese and wine. You know. Afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese and wine. Exactly. Um, John Fardy suggested I should get a mistress who can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> and for enough extra calories yeah. mm, I don't know oh, <laughs> is that an option um, I'll let your wife answer that one how's that right, we'll see how we get on with that um, so that was the big thing I think yeah definitely kicked in now on top of that another one for you I was uh, you know I did have a sore throat and a cold mm. is it wise to even carry on <laughs> he said negotiating a position for himself <laughs> when you're not that well when you're under the weather well, why do you think the cheese and the wine is, is well, going to make right you feel better? Is it right to be better? unwell and starving at the same time? No, but let's be honest, you weren't starving. No, hardly starving. Okay, you were feeling sorry for yourself and you were looking for some comfort. Yeah. And I think 
remember we were talking about the whole idea of emotional eating. I think the best thing to do is try and learn from this experience. So the next time you're you're feeling kind of a bit weak emotionally or you're looking for a bit of a treat is to kind of sort of stop and catch yourself in that moment. And even just take 30 seconds before you act. Like you got in the door and went, right, kids, wife, get in the car, we're going to the Italian. Yeah. Right? But next time just try to say, say to yourself, okay, take 30 seconds out just before you take action and say, acknowledge what's going on and say, do you know what? This is actually just a craving. I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself. I'm trying to make myself feel better. It's just a craving. It's not an emergency. It's going to pass. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because craving sometimes, you'd have craving, let's say, for Italian food or a beer, but cravings a lot of the time, they pass after about 20 minutes. If you kind of distract yourself. Have you ever, for example, had a natural distraction where you were about to eat something, but then your child distracted you? you All the time. Every day. Every and then day. When, you were, <laughs> yeah. when you were finished I'm what you were doing... I'm trying to eat this, will you leave me alone? <laughs> but when you were finished what you were doing, have you ever found that you almost kind of, you were kind of glad you had the distraction and you weren't as bothered about having it anymore? No, I just felt <laughs> I, I missed. It, it wasn't as warm as I was hoping it was going to be. So, <laughs> very, very loving relationship. But that's a meal. Food. I'm talking about maybe a treat. Okay, I don't get that many of them. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, I have to say no. Yeah, there were several opportunities for me. I said to your man, Peroni, <laughs> and then about ten minutes passed, and Audrey said he's, he's after forgetting your beer. And I was thinking, this is a sign from God. And I said, go into the kitchen and tell him he's forgot my beer or I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you didn't do too badly. You didn't say, I'll have a beer and now I'll have five. No, I didn't. So I had one beer and two glass of wine. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, then I carried, it's no question about it. It was once the dam was broken, it yeah. was the weekend, it was going to be the same. There was no That's question the trick. about You've it. You've got to catch yourself right yeah. there and say, I'm getting I'm back on track right now. Not tomorrow. Yeah. Right now. Other little issue, wants to get your view on it, the coffee thing. Mm. For me, it stood out like a sore thumb. And yeah. people, were, were, people who followed the blog were getting on to me and saying, do you realise you drink four cups of coffee before yeah. lunchtime? You've How actually, big an issue is that? And what's, what's it doing to me? You've increased your coffee consumption. Yeah, I have. Instead of decreasing, you've actually increased it. Basically, what caffeine does is it revs up stress hormones in the body. So it makes us often feel sort of a bit tense and a bit irritable and can mm. also make us feel a little bit moody. Also, it wreaks havoc on your blood sugar levels. So it makes your blood sugar levels um, kind of go up and down like a seesaw, yeah. which in turn can increase hunger and cravings. I know a lot of people feel that ca um, coffee can dull their appetite. And on one level, it yeah. does. The Kate Moss School of Cigarette and Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but for many people, um, it actually increases cravings. Okay, probably do that to me, so. Um, no, it's not. I felt wired every day. I got into a, a rut of having four coffees by lunchtime. And I noticed that. And, I was that and what kind of coffees are you having? Very big, strong ones. Uh, but black? Yeah, no, a little bit of milk. Yeah. Milk's bad too, isn't it? N well, no, not that milk's, no, milk isn't, isn't bad, but having four coffees a day is, is not helping you. Too much. Also, what it does is it depletes nutrients too. Really? So when you have a coffee straight after a meal, you don't actually absorb the vitamins and minerals yeah. from the food as well as you would have had you not had right. the coffee. So what's your advice at this stage? Do you think, um, carry on, get one more week out of it? I mean, really, it's going to be ending on Friday because we have our wedding anniversary and I can't mm -hmm. see myself being miserable over that. Not that I am miserable, mm -hmm. um, but I do want to I think indulge. you have, <laughs> you, you have two more pounds to go, yeah. right? Today's Monday. Yeah. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for the yeah, day. You yeah, can, you yeah, can we'll be, be good, good for five o'clock. In essence, you have five days. Mm. You can easily drop one, yeah. if not two pounds in that five days. Right. I actually think you can okay. still make your target in yeah. these five days if yeah. you put your mind to it. Right. But don't, you know, don't, don't starve yourself. Yeah. Because that's another really common pitfall okay. to kind of go, you know what, I'm just going to eat really, really right. little. Well, we could have the alcohol be gone. Get rid of the alcohol. That's easy. Monday to Friday, you do it anyway. Yes. Uh, so that won't raise its ugly head. Um, in terms of food, God, sitting down with the family, you know, it's hard to say no to what's on the table. Well, oh, there's gorgeous. A, I think you're also as well, one thing I noticed about your lunches, you're stuck in a little bit of a rut on the lunches. Yes. The Scrambled eggs, the eggs, rye toast, yeah, coffee yeah. and a tomato every day and an apple. It's, it's just I found this cafe is willing to do it for me because everyone else is kind of trying to load you with bread. I think it's it's great, but it's fine twice a week. Yeah. But having the eggs and toast every single day, you're just not getting the variety of nutrients that you should get in. All right. That's how people build up food intolerances. 
by actually eating the same food over and over again, you can actually develop intolerances to foods yeah. by overeating them. Okay, God, harps again. Um, for anyone who's listening and is struggling, let us know. 53106 for your text if you want to ask Elsa a question. Um, you have five mistakes that sabotage weight loss. Eating too little, don't think I do that. Overeating healthy foods. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I definitely do that. That's a common one. Like, yeah. I often suggest clients eat, you know, nuts as a snack. Yeah. And then I realise they're eating bags of nuts. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it, it's... You know, you I have to eat like that. a handful of nuts. Overestimating calories more, and yeah, I do that as well. Food, I'm married to a food pusher. So there's nothing <laughs> I can do about that. Food pa pushers can really sabotage your weight loss. Yeah. You know that kind of whole thing of, ah, sugar one is only a little piece. Yeah. And you know, ah, you're wasting away anyway. Sure, look at you, you're, you know, you're a skinny or you're a slim. And it's this sort of need that you people have yeah. to, 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 to feed you that makes them feel better about themselves. Giving into food cravings too quickly, that was Friday night. I was just, I was lying in bed last night and I found another article on nutrition. Um, this one from the Tribune. You must be related to this girl. It's exactly the same <laughs> advice you've given me. Monitoring your habits. If you have a stressful job, uh, you're a stress eater if you start eating, she said. Um, also, you'll eat out of boredom, sadness or loneliness. Mm. And you out of all of them at the same time. Well, that's emotional eating. But I think for you, you, you know what you were doing last Friday? You were pleasure seeking. Yeah, really, well, oh, absolutely. You know what I, mean? I felt like I had two and a half weeks of the yeah. same thing every night. Yeah, you were tired, you were cranky, and you were looking for some pleasure. Eating with them, trying to get them entertained, get them off to bed, and the two of us looking through the wall for a minute, and then we go to bed ourselves. I was thinking, oh, come on, do something. But you know what the, the thing was? What you did on Friday night wasn't a problem. It was I had no problem with you going to the to Italian yeah. restaurant and even you having a couple of drinks. That yeah. wasn't the problem. The problem was you went in for a penny and for a pound yeah. and you took you took the same approach for Saturday right. and Sunday. Took the ram of the ball. Uh, we've a listener I'd like to have a quick word with uh, Breed is on the phone. Breed, good morning. How are you today? Hi, Tom. How are you? Um, how are you getting on? We talked to you a few months ago, didn't we? That's right. That's and right. remind me now, what was the state of play then? Oh, <laughs> Um, I, I came on to um, quickly advise a guy who was broaching a subject to his wife. I think his wife uh, was wanted to start a family and she was forced on overweight, I think. That's right, and I remember. He was, yeah, he was concerned for her. And you were um, very concerned about your weight. That's right, because I was in the same position. I was very overweight before I got pregnant. I got pregnant, had three children, two years in between each one, and still had not only the baby weight, but the excess weight and some more. Right. On top, I was about six stone overweight. And I can um, remember a thing you said to me. Your, your husband is a skinny man, isn't he? Well, he's not skinny, um, but he's very fit. Um, right. And you yeah. said you felt people were saying, what, what's he doing with her, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. We were like Laurel and Hardy. Um, he was, he's, he's very tall. He's six, six one, and I'm yeah. five foot, and I'm heavier than him and okay. um, all the rest, yeah. And you didn't sound like at the time that you were very confident about trying to lose any weight? No, because I had, you see, I had done um, everything under the sun and I had lost quite a lot of weight with Weight Watchers um, about nine years ago. I'd lost four stone with them, put it on, plus two more, that kind of thing, you know. Um, but I, yeah, I had, I had, you know what, I'd just given up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I know the, uh, um, you know, I know the story, intake and, and output, you know, um, and I just decided after that day, um, because of all the feedback and the support, and um, I've lost two stones since. Wow. Yeah, wow. and I've exercised more, and um, I'm going to train for um, a relay for the Cork Marathon, and there's um, five, five mile relay so there's five of us doing it I'll I'm sponsor like, you for that right? <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible how did you manage to lose the weight I just cut back and I cut out the rubbish as simple as that I cut out the rubbish and um, cut back on bread and stopped drinking that's fantastic. And stop drinking. Mm. Yeah. That seems yeah. to be a huge part of it to me. It really does. Yeah, the empty calories and and the false um, confidence. And, of course, after drinking, then you get hungry and, yeah. and all that. It weakens and your I, resolve, I think. Mm. It just you, you have a drink and it, it's the thin end of the wedge. You have something to eat with the drink or after Absolutely. the drink. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I can identify with you, um, Tom, in the, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. You know, my thing was, ah, look, I may as well be hung for a sheep as a lamb. Yeah. Uh, for a week after the treat that I had, you know, on the Friday night or the Saturday night. You yeah. Know? Did you see, um, I, on the blog, I was very honest on Saturday, I put in the bowl of cereal I had at half eleven before I went to bed. Yeah, I oh, saw that. That was the classic. <laughs> he's had a glass of wine, he's going to have a bowl of cereal as well. <laughs> Full of cereal. And it's not 30 grams portion of cereal either. It's, no, it's isn't not. It? It's the full, it's maybe probably four portions, really, yeah. isn't it? 
That's yeah. incredible. What do you think of that? I Elsa? think it's um, I think it's absolutely amazing breed. Well done. And what I'm really interested to know, have you managed to um to stop that in for a penny and for a pound mentality? Yeah. I'm 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 kind of saying, okay, right, I had my treat. I've enjoyed it. I, I think that's the thing. If, if you enjoy your treat and you're not just mm. unconsciously eating it and you say, okay, right, I've, I've, I'm going to have my half a slice of cake or my slice of cake or my glass of wine or whatever, then enjoy it. And yes. then say, okay, grand, I had a great night, you know, um, you know, I've had my treat and I'm going to get over it. Now, sometimes it doesn't really work, you know, but before I would... I would eat for a week on it, mm. on the disappointment, on the, you know, I failed again and, I'm, yeah. you know, I beat myself up for a while. And then, you know, you put on the few pounds and, you know, I, I think, I don't know, it could have been you say, said it, but um, if you, we'd say if you lose a pound every month for a year, mm. it's nearly a stone. Yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah, but what I've been doing is putting on a pound a month yeah, for the yes. last few years and I'm putting on a stone a year. Yeah. You know, so I'm trying to reverse that now. Well, two two stones reversed in, in this little amount of time is incredible. It's what a amazing. great start. And you sound like you've done it in a really sensible way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it sounds like th- this is, is weight that you're going to keep off now for the long term. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't starve myself. I, you know, had proper meals. Oh, another thing as well is I cut it down to the basics. I tried to get back to nature as much as I could. Excellent. You know, um, to, to avoid the, the processed things. I mean, you know, I've read it all. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> but and I, I do, you know, just cut it back, you know, instead of having the, the you know, uh, little Weight Watchers meal that are very convenient in the, in the, in the, the freezer. Just have a little piece of fish and, and some mm-hmm. potatoes and some, you know, just bring it back to nature, really. More God. Than. Giving your body what it needs, really. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're making me feel bad about the weekend I've had, really, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but today's sure. another day, you know. It is, it is. I'm and you're, that's exactly, Bree, you're dead right. Today's yeah. another day. And you're doing really well, Tom. You thank, know, you much, yeah. thank you very much, Bree. Thank you very much. I have to be honest venue. now, it was talking to you that gave me the idea. Uh, oh, I, yes, I felt like there's no point in me going on and talking about this to people without yeah. doing it myself. Yeah, that's brilliant. Oh, that's great, Tom. But I mean, like, you, you're doing fabulously. You know, I still have, I'm still a few stone heavier than you. And, you know, that's that's great. I mean, those those that's few good. pounds. And sure, you're gorgeous anyway, so you ah. know, get more gorgeous. You're always my favourite, Fred. <laughs> 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 he's blushing he's blushing here Reed. Listen, Reed, that's brilliant and listen let, let us stay in touch we'd love to know how you get on if you if you do manage to do what was you said you're going to have a go at the cork um? the, the relay the five mile like um, the five was doing five miles in okay. and around each yeah okay, um, no I've never run five miles in my life but I'm, I'm trying to walk it first and then yeah, increase my time to do it see if I can, see if I can eventually run it in June. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Brie, great talking to you this morning. Thanks very much for getting in touch and delighted you, you've managed Tom. to make such progress. It's brilliant. Very inspiring indeed. Great. And well done. the good work you're doing famously. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Bye-bye. That's great. Thank Bye, Tom. That's, that's, that's a really that's nice kind of fuzzy feeling, warm... You know, I really remember story. the day we talked to her and there was a, a person who got in touch about wanting to have kids being worried about being overweight. And I she, remember too. Yeah, and there was loads of self-esteem issues and I was very s- struck by her tone and how yes. down on herself she yes. was. And to hear yeah. her two stone liner is brilliant. Yeah, and I remember you actually being very... Um, very sensitive and very sympathetic with her so that yeah. she possibly found that quite encouraging oh, I, too. I think it's really fantastic really yeah. great and I'm delighted I did manage to do it I feel much better about the bit of weight I've lost now Yay! Um, and I also well to appreciate the pitfalls because I, I really I probably struck a lot of people as just you know I got off such a good start mm. Um, so a bit of reality coming in is just was exactly. good, isn't it? Yeah, and it's it's to learn from it really. Yeah. You know, what can you take from it's this experience? Easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. But it, it it it's never going to be. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I can't get over how, how hard it is to be honest and how slow. I mean a pound, considering the number of times I was starving last week. A pound after all that. <laughs> <laughs> I think now had you not had the weekend that you had, I'd say you would have dropped two at least. Well, that would have been I would have been over the moon. Look yeah. at the big slice of cake. But that's okay. You still you lost a pound. Do you feel do you feel kind I of motivated feel much now for better. this week? I was talking to Matt Rudd on the show on Friday from the Sunday Times and I was evangelical with him. I was saying how great I felt. You know, really full of beans, much better sleeps, all the whole nine yards. And then I threw it away at the weekend. <laughs> but I know it's there again. I'll feel good again tomorrow. Back on well. track today. Yes. Elsa back with us uh, next week the final to see your way in, really. I may be yeah. weighing myself on Friday if that's all right. Rather that's than okay. Monday. Um, <laughs> so the final results on that. And if you're um, joining us now, 
let us know how you're getting on. You can email Tom at newstalk.ie or the blog, the full. And if you want, actually, it's interesting now to read back, see where I started. And you actually see my diet changing over the course of the last three weeks. It is intriguing to watch and the problems that have come up. Uh, the blog is up at newstalk.ie if you want to see it. Elsa, pleasure as always. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Cheers.